Hello from Slovenia again. <clears throat> so today um, <clears throat> I will pour to honor my dear friend and our fellow artist from YouTube, Eric Art, that she passed away. Uh, I We have a bond because uh, we both love um, same things. We both love acrylic pouring. That's how we met. We we didn't m know each other before we met through pouring, uh, and we both love dogs, uh, and we we. <laughs> We were experimenting together, not in the same room, but we talk on the phone and FaceTime and everything and experiment with different techniques. And she she did uh, some beautiful, beautiful flowers and other paintings. And she is a wonderful artist. She was because um, she drew their dogs uh, really really beautiful paintings that she she has done and i hope that she paint with angels now and just for those who wondering she has a cancer and in october she september end of September they find out that she has a metastasis in her brain and treatment didn't work obviously and now she is with angels sorry but um, I want to to do something to put my soul out because it's it was hard for me during all this time because my mom died from brain tumor too 25 years ago I was young when she died uh, and this period when she went through all this thing that we spoke, I bring it bring back some memories too. So I hope that she met my mom in heaven, and my mom were were an artist, was an artist too. So I hope that they paint together. And if you hear me, I love you both. So. To my poor, I will. I mixed my white really thin because I will go for this pearl cells kind of, and I mixed some polyurethane Vallejo polyurethane satin varnish in it, and I will see what will happen. So, Ooh, so many air bubbles. I will just cover my canvas with a thin layer of this white that hopefully will create some pearl cells and because this technique kind of looks heavenly for me because you get this wispy interesting look uh, that's why I decided that I will go with this technique and it's a good technique when you have some paints left that you can thin them down and um, try some new things. So that's that what we did we did a lot of the times with Erica. We just experiment with the things that we can buy here in Slovenia and 
we went to art store last year together and it was so much fun because you know how it's fun to go in an art store with somebody who loves this art too. And I'm pretty sure that she would try this technique too, so that's why I decided that I will do this today and I will start with a little bit of sapphire, deep sapphire extreme sheen and pebeo iridescent blue violet and the uh, Amsterdam blue permanent blue violet and some gold and I will just finish off with this blue because I don't want to have a lot of paint and I will just pour it from up high just a little something on the canvas and I will maybe even rag this a little bit here because I think that I have too much blue here we will see but I love this, oh, sorry guys, this design here, you see, with this iridescent paint, so let's tilt this and see what will happen. I really want to do a minimalistic thing today so hopefully because I tried this technique before and I think that I poured too much paint on it on the canvas So I really hope that I will have more negative space this time. I just want to go a little off corner there and back. that I had some blobs in my paint because I see some stripes of paint that I don't necessarily like but let's see not a lot of pearl cells So obviously this didn't work as I hoped, so I will just pour some of this white into this blue and some permanent violet in it and Spabeo iridescent blue violet, ah, violet blue and some Bayo iridescent precious gold and I will just flip this on ok 
Okay. And I will poke a hole. Let's see what will happen this time. And I will pour some white around. This is really thin paint. And I will just stretch this out. Want to tilt a little of this gold off here? If I like this, let's torch it a little bit for some effects, maybe. Hope that a little more of these pearl cells will pop through. And we will see. Hopefully they will grow a little bit. But I don't know. Maybe too much of this white. I think that I will go once more and just pour the rest of my paint into the cup. don't have my blue anymore so it will be mostly gold and pink obviously and I will just pour here in the middle straight pour a little bit just 
just here in the middle give it a quick torch and I will tilt it again so obviously it will be a long video today but maybe normally I would not publish this I would show it to Erica and we would discuss about it what happened how it looks how what we I could do differently so but today I will just share this with you okay still have some white uh, blue from my previous pour so let's tear this off and maybe just a little more to this side and I will be done and I will have a lot of paint on my table to, to do some dips and this kind of, kind of reminds me of heaven mm -hmm. so obviously should be like that. It's a soft painting. Just don't like this part here, so big block of paint. I will just take it off. And now I really like it last torch and I'm pretty sure that some white cells will pop through while this will drying so This was kind of look that I had in my head. So let me take you down for a close up. Oop. Again, problems with turning. So see all those lines and transparency. And this uh, blue, uh, iridescent blue violet, it will uh, dry beautifully. This part is definitely my favorite, I think. So. I think that I'm done. I like this fluffy thing here. It's like the sky and the clouds and some beautiful lines in there. And somebody is here, you see? So Erica, if you watch me from heaven, just want to let you know that I'm honored that I knew you and that you were loved in our community and that we will miss you. So, 
this is it for today and sorry guys and see you on the next one bye